Hello everyone. I'm Srishti, currently studying in Learner's Peak College and I'm going to talk about organic farming. You know that there is a drastic increase in the population wherein the population is dependent on food where there is an insufficient supply of food. Our country has been practicing various methods of farming. They use fertilizer to increase the fertility of the soil. And they also use pesticides which would kill pests. They use mainly the chemical fertilizers. This would produce an unhealthy food. They also use harmful pesticides which would affect the fertility of the soil. So to overcome the drawbacks of pesticides, we can use natural fertilizers like organic manure. So what are these organic manure? So organic manure is also called as organic fertilizers. So they are fertilizers derived from animal matter, animal excreta, human excreta and vegetable matter. Naturally occurring organic fertilizers include animal waste from meat processing, peat, manure, slurry and guano. The easy availability of fertilizers are human excreta, animal excreta and vegetable peelings. Now you may arise the question as without using the pesticides how can you kill the pest right so since we have used naturally occurring fertilizers let us use naturally occurring sources to kill the pests but how so these are made with the naturally occurring sources so first one is soapy water mix 5 tablespoons of dish soap with 4 cups of water in a bottle and spray plant with the solution. So this is the easy method. Why they have done means the soap will dehydrate free aphids and spider mites. Next is neem oil spray. They are made from the seeds of neem trees native to India. So this age old natural insecticides and anti-fungicides ripples uh, aphids, mids, scale and other small soft bodies insects. Next is pyrethrum spray. This natural insecticide is made from dried chrysanthemum flowers. So when you mix the powder with water and dish soap to create the spray, the spray what it does is it paralyzes the flying insects on contact. So they are used in big companies to control the mosquitoes. Next is garlic. Bugs hate the smell of garlic like vampires. So when you stick a clove of ga- garlic into the soil of house plant, the bugs will be not coming to your garden or uh, any of your house plants. Next is pepper spray. When you make a solution of 2 tablespoons of red pepper, 6 drops of dish soap and 1 gallon of water, then when you spray it to your plant, there will be no insects or pests in your plant. Even black pepper, chili pepper, dill, ginger and paprika, they also work as because they contain a cap C and C which ripple spider mites and other insects. Next is herbal water spray. Essential oils from sage, thyme, basil, rosemary, mint, rue and lavender ripple some insects. So to create the spray, take crushed leaves or trimmings, soak in a bucket of water overnight the street. Or dilute store-bought essential oil with water. You can also Plant these herbs in your yard to detract insects. Next is alcohol spray. Create a solution by mixing one or two cups of 70% isopropyl alcohol with a quart of water. The solution will ripple insects from house plants and tropical foliage. 
Next is nicotine to repel leaf chewing insects. Make a nicotine tea by soaking one cup of dried crushed tobacco leaves in one gallon of warm water and one fourth teaspoon of dish soap. Strain after 30 minutes and spray the mixture directly on the leaves. And next, the last is water. Much like a heavy downpour, a strong spray of water from a house can remove bugs from plant. Since we are using natural fertilizers and homemade pesticides, which are all free of cost. Therefore, we can overcome the scarcity of food and there would be a balance in the growth of population and food. If you like my video, please give thumbs up and share as much as possible. Thanks for watching.